How's it going everyone? Welcome to Double Pebble. Okay, today we are going to be looking at a striker, Devil Suker from Croatia. So, I will start by looking at his stats. Of course, 90 overall, which is quite high. He is not the tallest, 183, 80kg. Actually, 183, 80kg is very, very muscular. Huh? 80kg, eh? crazy. Eh? First thing we know, his strength is super high, 90 strength. Not the fastest striker around 88, 89. Dribbling and ball control are both very good, above 90, shot passing is good, finishing is also very good, shot power is decent, heading is 90 which is very good, long shot is also 89, another pretty good stat. Volley is good, positioning is good, reaction is good, his jump is also decent, 89, and then his marking, tackling, crossing also important. Oh his penalty is super good, 93, and his positioning is also super good as well, 90. Reaction, aggression also close to 90. Vision also very good as well, 87. So on paper, right, his stats actually look quite good. Now on to his styles, 9 of them. Goal master, target man, wing player, area control, driven master, tanker, sniper, freaking master, acrobatic, all the basically all the important ones. And then the work rate is not that bad as well. High attacking and mid for defending, so that is pretty decent. Trade, he's got an important finesse shot, which is important, and then the outside foot shot. Right, now we look at the price. 1.3 billion is very cheap by today's standard. Almost everyone can afford 1.3 billion, I'm sure, in FO3. So he's considered one of the lower priced world legend. And we will now go to the in game analysis to see if he is worth it. Right, so first thing we talk about the strength. I think he's biggest strength right is literally his strength and high balance so i find that he is really super tanky in fact one of the strongest players i've used in fo3 so far and it is really very hard to actually make him fall over so there were many instances whereby he took a tackle took damage from the defender but still continued chasing the ball after the game so there was a game where my foul got corrupted but then the goal that he scored was pretty insane he made a fake shot in the box took damage from two three defenders stay on his feet and converted the chance that was a very very good goal so his strength is literally his biggest strength other than that right, i actually don't think that he has many outright strengths like all his stats are above average or very good don't really see a big big selling point from him pace is decent Okay, but not mind-blowingly fast. So he's fast but not like a speed demon. So he's fast enough to stay in front of defenders. Other than that, really not much things to say in terms of pace. Haters are also very good and accurate when he connects with the ball. Since he has the height disadvantage, right, this might be a bit of a problem. So essentially, if he gets his hit to the ball, most likely it's a goal. But then, most of the time, if you don't time your cross well, if it is a contested hitter, he probably will not win that hitter. But having said that, right, his positioning is really good in the box. So there were many times where I actually see him peeling away from the defender, waiting for the free hitter. So that is a major, major plus point. Ball control and dribblings are both very good as well. And if you think about it, right, you combine that with his high agility, high strength, and high balance, right? It really is a very potent mix of great dribbling ability with high strength. So not many defenders can really knock him off the ball. He is super oily actually, and he is tanky enough to take damage in the event that you run into a defender. Weakness, he actually don't really have an outright weakness, so almost every important stats are above average to very good. Although in order to nitpick, right, I'll say his lack of height and the power hitter trait does hurt him a little bit. Since this game still relies on height a lot and also crossing, I would say his lack of height really is his only minor weakness overall i'll rate him a 7 out of 10 a very solid if unspectacular sort of striker i will feel that he is more of a fox in the box kind of striker the type that waits in a penalty box and pounds on any loose balls or chances in the box that kind of feel okay this is due to his excellent positioning in the box so i feel that his two biggest strength is his strength 
and the very very good positioning which makes him almost the ideal fox in the box kind of striker and his overall excellence stats also give him a lot of flexibility because you can almost play any style with him if you want to cross you can not the most ideal height for crossing but then you, you really can because his hitting stats are not bad and if you want to play high through ball game he is actually fast enough to get in behind so he really is a very flexible striker i'll say right he's the type of striker you want to use if you don't have a specific type of gameplay so you like to mix it around and you want an all-rounder so he's actually a pretty good choice for an all-rounder kind of striker now is he worth it 1.3 billion i'll say to be honest right i feel that he's the type of striker that will be super super good in fo4 because of the difference in the game engine but in fo3 height is still king so without that height he really doesn't really feel that impressive and he's also not that super super fast to outrun the defender outright you know that kind of thing so in fo3 i think he's a bit limited so i wouldn't say that he is worth it it is still better to invest in a tall or a very fast striker right that is all for this review video hope you guys enjoy give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my fifa online content and also hit the subscribe button for more videos check out our facebook fan page as well double pebble the link is in the description box and i'll see you next time